Hi, welcome to Audiobook Academy. This is a self-paced audiobook. There's no need to keep an eye on things. Just pay attention. Thank you for taking the time to listen. Book Summary of Love and Respect by Dr. Emerson Egerich Wives are created to love, to desire to love, and to anticipate love. Husbands are raised to be respected, to desire respect, and to demand respect from their wives. It is particularly difficult for a husband to love his wife when he feels disrespected. A wife's ability to respect her husband is hampered when she believes she is unloved. A lot of the time, we are preoccupied with our own needs and fail to recognize the needs of others. When a wife appears to have contempt for him as a human being, no husband can feel affection toward her. The key to instilling fond feelings of love in a husband's heart for his wife is to treat him with unwavering respect. Craziness occurs when we continue to do the same things over and over again with the same negative outcome. I believe that the only way to truly love a husband is to show him respect in ways that are meaningful to him. We are easily aware of what is being done to us before we are aware of what we are doing to our partner. I admire your devotion to your wife. Always make an effort to understand what is going on in her deepest heart. Yes, love is important, especially for the wife, but what we have overlooked is the need for respect on the part of the husband. When a husband believes his wife has contempt for who he is as a human being, he does not experience warm feelings of affection and love in his heart. As the proverb goes, wives are created to love, desire love, and anticipate love. In order to be respected, wives must want to be respected, and husbands must anticipate being respected. When I was wrestling with the problem, I finally realized that there was a connection, without love from him, she reacts without respect, without respect from her, he reacts without love. It is especially difficult for a husband to love his wife when he feels disrespected. A wife's ability to respect her husband is hampered when she feels unloved. A husband's natural tendency to react in ways that are unloving to his wife is triggered when he feels disrespected. Whenever a wife feels unloved, she has a natural tendency to react in ways that are considered disrespectful to her husband. Perhaps the command to love was given to him for this very reason. It's possible that the command to show respect was given to her specifically for this reason. When a wife appears to have contempt for him as a human being, no husband can feel affection for her. Showing a husband unconditional respect is the key to instilling fond feelings of affection in his heart toward his wife. Craziness occurs when we repeat the same actions over and over again while experiencing the same negative consequences. What I say does not always ring true in your ears, and what you believe you heard does not always ring true in my ears. All too often, we are preoccupied with our own concerns and completely ignore the concerns of others. I want to emphasize to wives that when men receive negative criticism, it doesn't take long for them to interpret it as a rejection of who they are as men, the author says. I believe that the only way to truly love a husband is to show him respect in ways that are meaningful to him. He honors her as the first in importance, and she respects him as the first among equals, their marriage is successful. Moreover, the typical wife fails to recognize that her self-image is frequently based on her perceptions of what her husband thinks about her. While many wives do not intend to be disrespectful, they appear to be so to their husbands, and their husbands take refuge in stonewalling them. When it comes to respect grids, men interpret their world through a respect grid. A wife's softer tone and facial expressions can do more for her marriage than she can imagine. When a husband or wife doesn't get it, the answer is the same, we don't always see what's right in front of our faces. We are able to see what is done to us before we are able to see what we are doing to our mate, says one. I admire your devotion to your spouse. Make an effort to understand what is going on in her heart. Even if a marriage appears to be hopeless or desperate, if the husband and wife both have a fundamental goodwill in their hearts, they can break the crazy cycle. When it comes to forgiveness, it's the complete polar opposite of judging. Nothing is more simple than judging, nothing is more difficult than forgiving, and nothing can bring more blessings than forgiveness. In order to connect, women must confront each other. In contrast, the typical response from a man is that he believes his wife is confronting him in an attempt to exert control. Many men would rather die than approach a contemptuous wife in a loving manner and confess, I believe I was wrong, says the author of The Way of the Soldier. We're interested in discussing it. I am sorry, you should say to your wife in the midst of a disagreement. What are your thoughts on my behavior? To be brave is an understatement. It is possible to have a great marriage if the tension is dealt with creatively or if the tension is avoided completely by doing a few positive and loving things. Keep in mind that you should be affectionate and attentive on a daily basis, not just on days when you want sex, says the author. Love should be a goal, rather than an end in and of itself. The sensitivity and needs of his wife must be taken into consideration by every husband. 
It is possible for him to close himself off and refuse to be open, or he can move toward her and connect with her at new levels of openness. It is important for you to understand as a husband that you are not always required to solve your wife's problems. This will go a long way toward demonstrating empathy and understanding to her. Do not run away from your spouse in order to avoid making peace with him or her. The question, do you love me? is asked by the woman. The reassurance she seeks is more important to her than the information she seeks from you. As the saying goes, a wife needs to feel secure. As much as you possibly can, communicate to your wife that you are committed to her for the rest of your lives. In order to feel fulfilled, the male has a strong desire to participate in exploration and conquest. As a deeply ingrained characteristic, he is unable to change. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Please don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. See you in next audiobook.